Hello and welcome. This time we're going to paint the Necron Doomsday art. This video is very similar to my ghost art, so if you've already seen this, just check out the gun. Begin by painting the entire model in Chaos Black. This can be done with spray paint or by hand if you choose. Next what you want to do is get out Dark Angel's Green and put a bit of paint on the brush and gently dab it, similar to a stippling effect, on random sections of the uh, Doomsday Arc surface to give it a pattern. You can see where I have painted it because it catches the light in a uh, fairly small amount because it's quite a dark colour. But this will help you to bring out the emphasis of the lighter colours as you carry on painting. You want to apply this effect to all uh, dark sec uh, sections of the um, Doomsday Arc which you sh think should remain dark and not look uh, silvery or metallic. Next repeat the same step but with Scorpion's, uh, Scorpion yeah, sorry, it was snot green, and do it less, and then take out goblin green and use it to line all of the edges of the model to give it a slight glowing effect. You can also dry, br dry brush smaller sections to create even more of a pattern than you had before. This time you want to get out your scorpion green and use it to edge all of the most prominent areas of the model. And you can also use it to paint the orb on the uh, rear section of the model as you see here. And you want to line the, the most important sections such as the prow and maybe some of the higher up areas of the sort of rib cage that the model has. And we'll take a look at the uh, back section alone for this. You can see where I've lined different sections of the model. Uh, it went a lot better on the lower half than it did the upper half, but it still looks quite good. And you can also do a similar thing to what you did with the Goblin Green and actually dry brush short sections of it. Now uh, you want to take out chainmail and some sort of gold and paint the sphere encasing at the back section and use bolt gun metal on the vents at the sides and you can use burnished gold to paint the runes near the front and shining gold to paint the main rune in front of the command desk. Before you paint the pilot himself I used burnished gold for his shoulders and his crest and chainmail for his body. The back spine has been painted with bolt gun metal to match the vents. And here's a look at the sphere and also the whole thing in general. Uh, the short section at the back has been painted with bolt gun metal to match with the vents. You can also use the bolt gun metal to gently dry brush any sections which you think should look more metallic. Scorpion green was used for the pilot's eyes. Next, use burnished gold to paint the runes on the front prow. There's no such thing as a front prow, just a prow. And use chainmail or bulgur metal to paint the uh, rune style thing on the front. And scorpion green for the gem. Next, you want to repeat the uh, bulgur metal and gem effect for all of the runes on the ribcage. Even though they're not going to be showing off just because... Um, it gives it a more impressive feel. And gently dry brush either chainmail or you could use bolt gun metal for the spikes coming out of the front and the back of the rib cage section. And you'll want to use the same color to paint the rings around the support sections for each of the guns. Uh, 
and we'll take a look at a single gun on its own and uh, uh, on its own and I'll give you a brief description of how I painted it. You want to use goblin green for the main section of the barrel, but be careful not to fill in the black areas and use the bolt gun metal to paint the uh, end of the gun and the blade. Then you can use goblin green or scorpion green to gently dry brush over that and to paint the tubing before you get out something like snot green to paint the coils. This can be done uh, with each individual coil painted or dry brushing the whole section. Next the gun, the most impressive part. Dry brush bolt gun metal over the main sections and scorpion green on the inner barrels and use burnished gold on the front end and the back end. Be careful not to fill in the little lines which you can colour in with scorpion green and you can use this for the orbs and you can also paint the back section similarly to how you painted the uh, overall ship to make it feel as if it fits in rather well. All of the orbs were painted with scorpion green. Then paint the runes at the front with burnished gold and you can see um, see the pilot there and he's got his command console which I painted in various reds and blues mainly ice blue and blood red and it's got some small lighting effects and here you can see the uh, vent sections have been painted with bolt gun metal they're not normally on there but mine is a kind of conversion and here's a look at the whole piece together so here's a look at your finished doomsday arc Thanks for watching this video, and if you want any more information, just leave a comment below. And make sure to check out some of my battle reports. If you have any ideas for a campaign, just leave them below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.